Uh, hello everyone. Mm, I am Hyunjun Ko and I am so excited to be here talking about Bapi binding to Rust, which is that uh, I've been working on uh, very personally for fun since since the end of last year. And talking about how to integrate into uh, GStreamer plugins written in Rust, which is that uh, Sebastian is working on now. So yeah, before I start, uh, I would in introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hyun Jun Ko. Yeah. And for those who have difficulty in saying my name, you can call me just uh, Jun, just Jun. You know, this Jun. You can call me just Jun. And I've been working on GStreamer uh, since 2013, and my first work using GStreamer was uh, to implement Wi-Fi display source side, which, is, which was very complicated. But I got a lot of help from GST RTSP server, and that was a very good chance to know and understand uh, uh, GStream infrastructures. And now I am uh, one of regular contributors to GStream Abapi projects since I joined Igalia in 2016. And this is uh, my sort of nickname online, and I am using this word uh, every place online, including IRC channel and email address and even intranet in my company and yeah, I, I have just created and I like this and yeah even though I don't know how to say this word but yeah I like it and this slide uh, I'm not going to explain this project GStream of API in detail <coughs> since there was already another session on another talk from Victor in this morning. So here I will say briefly that uh, GStreamer BAPI is a set of elements including sync, which is a renderer, post pro, which is a converter <coughs> and scalar, and several decoders and encoders, um, and which use BAPI software um, that, uh, which is named libba for having your accelerated video processing. That's, that's it. And I believe you have already attended to Victor's session. And now I'm going to talk about Rust briefly. There is also another session just before by Sebastian this morning. So, so I would just say one thing for us, that is safety, which is what attracted me strongly. Mm. Uh, yeah, let me talk about this more. Um, yeah, I've been a C developer for over 15 years and I have a a lot of experience of fixing problems in Cisco. Most of them caused by memory corruption, or race condition in multi-threaded system. And as you know, this is very painful to, to find out what the root code is, root cause is, and where it comes from. And this is not only about pain for developers, but also about security, which is very critical in the real world. And I and basically I hate it, this debugging times kind of debugging times. But I cannot escape. Because C language has extraordinary performance rather than other languages. And I know that there are lots of la uh, modern languages out there that I don't need to Take, uh, I don't need to care about these kind of things, but most of them not able to meet the requirement of 
performance in my area. That's why, that's why I can't escape. But Rust is different. Rust is different. Let me say this just. Rust uh, guarantees to prevent from this kind of things and also guarantees it doesn't lose performance. That's it. That's, this is what attracted me. When I heard about this language, I thought like, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I've been looking for. And I, I'm, um, I, don't think, I don't think it's, it aims at replacing C or C++, but at least I think it's worth learning and trying for, for C and C++ developers, at least, I think. This, this is what, just what I think. And since then, I've been um, searching and thinking of what I can do with this language and finally decided to implement uh, binding, Rust binding to read VA uh, in, the, in, the, in the end of last year. Now, this is all about why I choose Rust. Okay, okay. Now we are going to talk about the main story of this talk. Uh, name is that with VA Rust, and location, location, location is that. And the main goal is providing general and simple a set of APIs, Rust APIs, uh, so that you just uh, can integrate into uh, you just projects easily. To do that, I should generate foreign function interface to lead VA and I used uh, called the uh, uh, ROS bind gen project. Uh, I'll talk about this later in the next slide. And another goal is providing traits for decoder, encoder, and renderer so that so that you can you could uh, implement something specific, just like a H.264 decoder or VPA decoder, whatever. And let's look at what I did so far. FFI is generated by Rust bind gen 0 0.0.20, and I think I am going to regenerate this. Uh, by the latest version of it, since there are a lot of improvements, improvements in this project. And, okay, and then now move to look at uh, structures that I implemented. <coughs> uh, yeah, I just named the BA display, which is saying one in the driver. Mm, and it includes uh, Original, VA, uh, original handle in the driver, FFI VA display, and it also includes uh, native, uh, pointer to native display, such as uh, X11 display and end display. And implemented uh, several functions, and it's showing three of them. And as you, as you see, uh, they are all public, which means that you can call it in your project. Okay, and two more things, two more things, which is which can be used very frequently in other projects. Uh, one is uh, VA image, and you can see the functions, put image, uh, very important functions, uh, put image, get buffer, and get information from the raw picture. And VA surface, and, and two surfaces and derive Derived image is very important. And to surface is to render something on specific platform, actually. And now, and traits, traits. Uh, so currently, I have just one trait in this project, which is VA renderer. And, and I, I have implemented uh, VA renderer for X11 to get it working on X11 system. And uh, look at look at that look at that trait first. Uh, there are there are predefined <coughs> functions, which is just like a 
uh, virtual method in, in sort of class. Uh, and, and in Rust, you can, you can implement kind of implement uh, inheritance by using the traits, just like this. And I implemented VA Render X11, and, and I implemented each uh, function to get it working on X11. And there's only one trait for now. And I know I need more traits for decoders, encoders, post -book. Now, now we are here. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you about integration in these three plugins. And look at that GST plugin RS, which is mentioned already in the uh, previous talk by Sebastian. This is this has been been uh, developed very much, very actively by Sebastian and a lot of improvements this year. And as an experiment and as a, to give you, to give a proof of concept, I, I uh, implement uh, RS bar p sync. And, and, I, yeah, and first of all, I bought that project and created a new branch, and I implemented RS bar p sync. Based on RS base, which is uh, implemented in, in, in that project. This is very well designed mm. so, that, so that you just could uh, implement something very easy. And the reason that I implement bar p sync is uh, this is only thing. So far, can be uh, can be worked now because you know there is only one trick to be able to So take a look at the code. Uh, I declare to use my project with variables. Okay. Uh, look at the construct of RSVA APIs Bappy Sync, and uh, it uh, creates. Uh, VA display creates an instance of VA display and creates an instance of VA render X11. Obviously, this should be improved to support other, other backend, like a VM. And this is a random method. This random method is defined in RS base sync. And, and this is calling random method in this you know, legacy space sync. So, so, so if you implement this random method, finally it calls uh, random method in GST base sync. And yeah, simply, as you, as you see, I just call VA render of that random method. That's this is this easily done, so like this. It's extremely convenient. Yeah, and note that uh, mm, this this is not mm, handling the circuits directly because uh, it doesn't support the uh, uh, puppy. Butter pool and it doesn't implement. Uh, I, I don't implement uh, proposal location, so so this is doing currently copy from upstream data to new VA surface, which is which means that performance is very bad. But you know, this is this is a step. So. So uh, just uh, I want to show the demo. Okay, uh, this is the project that I bought. And I was, I was <coughs> is some old name of uh, 
just different in this RS. And also get this. RS API. Yes, there is one thing. RS API thing. I had insert this because uh, I basic think this it adds mandatory. Okay, this this is the plan. This is the plan. Actually, there are tons of things to do for the moment. The, 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 I I introduced those four things. And the first thing is to make it rusty more. As I told you in the beginning of this talk, I am still a run of rust. So this it means that this project is not completely rusty yet. So, of course, there's uh, I've been trying to avoid the unsafe function and, and benefit from things that Rust is giving, but it's not complete. And there's not uh, there remains something uh, to be rusty. Uh, such as uh, 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 handling ownership in the, in the way of lust. Uh, actually, I, I don't understand completely that. And, and make it safe when what is written. I don't understand perfectly. But uh, so that's why I need to learn more about lust. And the second thing it prevents decoder and encoder. And I know this is more important than sync elements. And fortunately, in the previous Sebastian's talk, uh, maybe uh, video base video encoder uh, decoder is coming soon, so I can follow out that maybe. And maybe VPA decoder is the first candidate because. Uh, because it looks the simplest rather than other formats, I think. And the third thing is also important. Uh, as I told you in the previous uh, slide, uh, I, 
Alice Bobby Sink, a uh, dozen surfers, uh, uh, Bobby Bofofu, and Professor Location. But it should suppose that kind of thing, you know, handling VA service directly. If, if this is not supported, there's no advantage of using Bobby elements. So this is mandatory and very important. And the last thing is, is uh, let me tell you, uh, uh, currently, this mobile elements uh, in one pipeline should share the same VA display to get it working, to, to achieve zero copy. But, um, and this is achieved by GST context. And it, needs, it also needs to be supported <coughs> in Rust. Things Rust, mm. uh, yeah, Bobby elements. Yeah, that's the plan. And maybe uh, the third thing and the fourth thing. Uh, if I once I finish the third thing and fourth thing, I would maybe I would put request to uh, Rust. I don't, I'm not sure when it can be done. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Any questions?